uh, I don't know if this parking lot is all over there. Yeah, there it is. Where? Jimmy Hendrix. Right there. We are honored by your visit. This memorial has been erected in the loving memory of Jimi Hendrix for friends and fans to come reflect. And respectfully, we ask that you help us pay tribute to Jimi by leaving the memorial tidy and litter free for others to enjoy. Thank you for your kind consideration, the Hendrix family. Well, here we are. Jeff and I have arrived at the Jimi Hendrix Memorial in Renton, Washington. Forever in our hearts, James M. Jimi Hendrix, 1942-1970. Here's a demonstration of his guitar. Left-handed, of course, you can tell by the headstock. People leave their guitar picks and stuff in here. Pretty cool. A lot of people leaving different things for him. This is a really cool design, this memorial. Over here, here's some images of him. See that? So we have message to love, everybody come alive, everybody loves alive, everybody hear my message. And down here they've, they did something really cool here. They took his actual writings of his songs and they etched them into the stone. That's his actual handwriting and I'll show you how we know that in a second. Over here we've got Nora Hendrix, Frank DeWolf Hendrix, Pearl Hendrix, Robert F or Robert Bob E. Hendrix. Not really sure who those people are. Here's another one of his songs etched in stone in his handwriting. See the Scribble out, where you rewrote the words, scribbles the words out. Pretty cool how they did this. The story of life is quicker than the wink of an eye. The story of love is hello, goodbye, until we meet again. It's really, really cool. You can see where people come and kiss him. I won't be doing that, I can assure you. There's been a lot of money on this thing. That other guy said that a living relative came in and paid for this or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's, well, that's what he was saying. He was saying that, like, he had a brother that was still alive, and his brother was buried somewhere else with a marker, and they moved in here. Part of this and paid for all of this to do this whole thing or something. I didn't quite understand all of it. It was something along those lines. So. Nice. Man, talk about someone that left a mark again in rock and roll history. Pretty cool. Yeah. What a great guitarist. Oh, and what he did left-handed just blows yeah. me away. It's amazing. Yeah. So I didn't like a lot of his music, a few of his songs, you know. But, you know, growing up I didn't really listen to him at all. But, you know, Wayne's World is what. You know, yeah. The Foxy. Foxy Lady. Lady, yeah. yeah. That was really funny. That's what kind of sparked my interest a little bit, so. <laughs> yeah, I like Purple Haze, all the classics, you know, yeah. Hey Joe. Right. Hey Joe, that's great song. I do like that song, so, very cool. In 1995, Al Hendricks, Jimmy's father, regained the control of his son's music with the help of Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. Now with the proper financing, Al was able to begin the process of having a monument designed and built that would represent at least somewhat of who Jimi Hendrix was and what he did for rock music as well as guitar players all around the world. Unfortunately, Al didn't survive to see it completed. On November 26, 2002, 
Jimi Hendrix was relocated with his original headstone along with his father beneath the new monument. I would like to take a moment and say thank you to Lauren Rhodes for her wonderful website, Cemetery Travel. These facts I just spoke of are from her website. Thank you, Lauren. Straight ahead, woman and child, man and life. The best love to have is love of life. Pass it on. Now this is how we know it's his handwriting. If you look in this song right up here, it says the key of F. This is Voodoo Child song and he has notes on there and some more scribble out and rewrites. You just can't help but think that that's really his writing. It's pretty cool. Over here is a marker. Let's see if I can get this down here. It's uh, Hendrix, husband James A. and wife Ayaka. 2002 and 1999. And then over here, we've got Nora Hendricks, 83 to 80, 1883 to 1984. Wow, 100 years there. And then Grace Hendricks Hatcher, 1933 to 2000. So that's the only ones that are on these stones, but these must be all of his family members that have markers when they need them. Pretty cool. Let's walk around here in a second. This car is gonna go by me. You see his signature over there. I'll zoom in on that. This is really cool. There it is. All etched in that marble. So cool. The guy had a short career, but he made an indelible mark on rock and roll music. Well, that's the Jimi Hendrix grave and memorial. What a great thing to see. I would highly recommend coming to see it if you're in the Seattle area. There's several other Hendrix attractions in Seattle that we may vlog on another time, but this was the one we really wanted to see. If you like this video, you may also like the vlog of the Kurt Cobain Memorial Park and his childhood home. There will be a link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to push record. Hello.